Borobudur is the largest Buddhist temple in the world. It's also an UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most visited tourist attractions in all of Indonesia. In 2023, the top has reopened, the dress code has changed, and the prices have increased. Today, I set out to visit this temple using public transportation. Not only is it possible, but there is a really easy option. Terminal Jambor, which is in the north of Jogja. And now I need to find out where my bus is. I have no idea. Hopefully there's one soon. <laughs> one hour. One hour? Yeah. Okay, I can go. Yeah, no? Five minutes even now. On yes. there? Yeah, on. Okay, thank you. Kanamakasi. Oh, that was so easy. So 25,000. He said it's leaving in five minutes. That's amazing. had to pay 15,000 each. Now I'm trying to find out where the entrance is. There's a huge parking lot here and there's so many people selling like clothes, souvenirs, food, everything. But I think this is the right way. Hey, that's it. This is domestic. Here's international. So it's like as a group you go to the top? Yes, of course. Okay. So you go with our guide in groups. Okay. 4.55 is a group tour to the top. Or 3.62 is just by yourself at the bottom and you can't climb it. Well, it's exciting you can go to the top. I didn't think you could go to the top. But you can't go by yourself. It's on like a guided tour thing. And it's only like 100,000 more than not going to the top. So I guess, I guess if you're here, you kind of have to. And now we're just waiting for the tour. We have to wear special shoes in order to climb the temple. And I think we get to keep them. Yeah, we get to keep our new shoes. <laughs> so I guess this is how you get to climb the temple still, by wearing these. And the guide was saying that like everyone's shoes were really destroying the temple when they were climbing up it, especially like hiking, trekking shoes. So that's why now you have to wear these ones. And only 1,200 people can go up a day, but we can see now. Ah, so cool. <laughs> this is a building for praying. We call Boro. Then Budur, it is one hill or mountain. It's temple on a hill. 150 steps to climb. 150 stairs. <laughs> That's really surprising too. Um, we only have to change our shoes. There's still people like in shorts and stuff. Which in Thailand, I don't know, at temples you can't wear shorts, but here I guess you can. Buddhist temple in the world. It's so exciting. I thought that was really interesting too. So as you guys told us, 
what, 86.7% of Indonesia is Muslim. But here in Jogjakarta, the two famous temples are the biggest Buddhist temple in the world, this one. And on the other side of the city, there's the biggest Hindu temple in Indonesia, both UNESCO. But yeah, it's so interesting that it's like the people here are Muslim, but the two temples are Buddhist and Hindu. Oh, my group's going up. <laughs> He's waving at us. Oops. Oh, then, ah. Uh, the whole group had to enter together and they scanned all of our bracelets here to, to start the climb up. So we go their side to make the best pictures with the sun from their side. Yeah. The best pictures over here. This place is huge. It keeps going. <laughs> But no, the second one, the second, third, fourth, and fifth are telling when the people started to be good people. So here the guide's explaining that all of the carvings here on the rocks, they're different like stories that the people can learn from. So the country snakes been up here. I don't want to see that. <laughs> okay. We're going up to the top. I didn't realize how many stupas there were up here and they're so big and the views crazy I think you said there's 72 73 stupas they all have different shapes that layers like diamond this is more of a square and this is like a full-on square yeah there's no carvings here now because we're in Nirvana so you don't need teachings or stories you have to walk around three times. Oh, the boot is out. That's so cool. He said there's supposed to be Buddhas inside all of the stupas. But it's hard to see. That one you can see. Huh. Even the views here are insane. This really is a lot more amazing than I was expecting. It's, and I'm so happy we can go on top because everyone was saying you can't come up anymore. But if you pay a hundred more, you can on a tour. I think we're going down already. They scanned us when we went up and they scanned us too when we left I guess so they know everyone's out or so you stay with your group I guess I don't know but yeah they scanned us in and scanned us out honestly though if you come here and you don't go up to the top like it's cool down here but like you have to go to the top the top's amazing with all the stupas that's like the coolest part it's time to put our shoes back on oh -ho. We also get to keep this Borobudur shoe bag, which is nice. So the tour just ended here. He said we can still go and like walk around the temple and everything. But we cannot go up anymore. So I'm going to walk around a little. It's so hot, but it's amazing. I'm not ready to leave. I mean, it's still like 350 to go down here to the bottom. This is the only view you get. You can't even see the stupas. It's still nice walking around the bottom here. But the ticket's already so expensive that you might as well pay to go to the top because that's the best part. So we're done. 
biggest Buddhist temple in the world, UNESCO World Heritage Site, right here like an hour from Yogyakarta. And you can get here on a bus. Well, two buses technically, but yeah, really cheap. You don't need like a crazy expensive tour. This exit is the longest exit ever, but you see all this cool stuff, <laughs> like Buddhas. And I don't know, artifacts from the temple. Now I need to figure out how to get back to Jogjakarta. I don't really know. Uh, there's a thing here on maps that says bus terminal. We'll see if it's a terminal. It's so cute here though. It's like a cute little town. I made it to the bus station. Buses right here, 20,000. I just have to wait till 3.30. This is right at the, the ter on Google Maps. Terminal Borobudur. There's vans, literally, it says Malioboro. So I don't know what it is, but yeah, Damri van, 20,000. There's all these timetables up I need to look at. It's so good. And this van is a lot more comfy than the bus was. I just made it back with my van and that was literally the most convenient thing ever. On the way to the temple, I paid, what, like 40,000 for a grab to John Bohr Station, plus 25,000 for the bus that dropped me off on the road and then 15,000 for the Angkot. So in total to get from the center of Jogjakarta to the temple on public transit, I spent what, about like 80,000? On the way back, like it went from Borobudur Terminal, the whole way back they dropped me off on Malioboro Street so I could walk home, 20,000. That's insane. I need to find a link for it though because I don't know where like the station is here, but that's the most convenient, cheapest thing ever. It was great.